for the display cases update for Afterglow, I have designed a variety of different shapes and sizes of display cases. They follow the same consistent style, so they are cubic, although some of them have like corners to them or X shapes. And the lighting in this initial version is pretty much the same all the way through, so they're very thin strips of light. And the reason I've done this instead of a different kind of shape is because I already knew I wanted to do some kind of corridor-like aspect to the lighting, and just having the thin bars like this makes it easy to drag them along, which helps you to highlight horizontally different areas of whatever you have inside of the cases. So there's two ways of thinking about their use. One of them is for demonstration purposes, as in having something physically in there to move around and display whether it's a product or a prop or like any other kind of object you like. We have tall ones where they're mostly glass and there's like pedestal one where it's on a platform. Again, as the initial version, it's all exactly the same style, like a kind of contemporary and very minimal. You will also notice that I've got sphere in the default collection assets and this is partly for creating the thumbnails if I scroll down so this is in the afterglow asset library we can see the thumbnails for the different display cases here and though it's kind of hard to interpret because they are mostly transparent you can see that some of them especially these ones with the larger shapes have multiple spheres in them of a small size so you can kind of intuit that these are larger display cases compared to the first ones in the list these are collection assets so they can just be dragged in and added to the scene and then adjusted as needed especially if you press Control A and then make instances real to unpack the collection asset, depending on whether it's already linked or appended, there's some caveats to the way things are imported in Blender. So this is all physical lighting inside of the Cycles rendering engine, meaning the lighting is coming from the emissive shaders on the light objects. If I enable some 3D scans here, you can see some demonstrations. Especially here, you can see that being able to control the position of a basic strip light actually has quite a significant effect over the lighting of objects. Afterglow is available on both Gumroad and Superhive.